Bill, this is your baby, Subcon Laser. How did it all start? Uh, many years ago, I used to work for a manufacturer of laser cutting equipment. And one of my jobs while I was there was to go over to Singapore and I had to set a joint venture up over in China um, from Singapore, with a Singaporean company. And I went back to the hotel one night and said to the wife, well, what, let's go back to the UK and try it ourselves. And that's where we started. And how many years ago was that? When did you found the business? 1988. So you've been going close on 30 years. Yeah, yeah. What, what's the secrets to your success? Just being good at what we do, really. Um, I'm a very active person, I'm a very hands-on person, I'm normally spend a lot of time on the workshop floor myself. So what industries do you actually serve here, Bill? What markets are you working for? Uh, general engineers, motor manufacturers, soil manufacturers, um, all kinds of engineering companies. Okay, and the reason we're here today is because you've just purchased another Trump machine. In fact, it's the True Laser 5030 Brightline Fibre. I'm going to go and have a chat with Lindsay, who's your production supervisor, about some of the reasons behind the purchase. Thanks, Bill, and good luck for the future. So, Lindsay, you're the production supervisor here at Subcon Laser. You get involved, well, tell me what you get involved in. Well, basically, my involvement with the machines is that the jobs, when they're, they're ready to be cut, I decide which job gets cut on which machine. And obviously, the variety of machines we've got here, it's important that you select the right one for the material and the thickness involved. Now, we're standing in front of the latest purchase, which I believe was made in sort of March or April this year. This is the 8 kilowatt Brightline fibre machine. Why did you go for this level of technology? Well, it's always important to us to go for the latest technology, but it just means we can be more flexible for our customers and we can get a better quality and a better cut on thicker materials and also the speed on the thinner materials helps us to, to give better lead times to the customer. So with this 8 kilowatt Brightline fibre, what's the real advantage or what can you do on it that you can't do on other machines in the machine shop? Well, just an example is that the, the thickest material we can go to now is 40 mil stainless, whereas we couldn't go anywhere near as thick as that before with the other machines we've got. And when you say you, you always look to buy the most modern machines with all the bells and whistles, what are some of those features that you've embraced here at Subcon Laser on this machine? Well, we like the drop and cut feature here because we are always left with sort of funny shaped off cuts of material and previously if we wanted to cut something out of those it would take time going back to programming getting it reprogrammed whereas now we can do it on the machine it's easy to just drop the part onto the sheet and cut it straight away. And what about also with these machines if you're at the back of the machine you can't see what's going on inside it. Well, that's, that is one of the problems with a fibre, because they're enclosed and there's no windows, you need to be able to see what's going on. And on the latest machine we've bought, we've got the iPad facility, so the operator can be down the other side of the bed, um, taking the parts off, but he's got the iPad there and he can see what's going on inside the machine, and he can restart the machine and stop the machine from there instead of having to be right round the other side. And there's also something called smart collision prevention that you opted for on this machine as well. How does that help? Well, if you've got a production part, which is running the same part all the time, it means that the machine and the software takes care of the fact that the head's not going to collide into a part if it tips. We haven't got to worry about how we program it to make sure it misses that. The software does it for you. You've also got smart beam control, I believe. Yeah, that just gives us peace of mind, really, that the beam is always being monitored within the software and we don't have to worry about it. So, so you're getting the best results when it comes to accurate cutting? Yeah, constantly, day in, day out, you know, it gives us reassurance. So most of the points I've touched on are actually smart functions that are available from Trump with their machine purchases. You pretty much went for everything, didn't you, when it comes to options? Yeah, we did go for every option, really, because we want to, the best technology to give the best results to our customers. And the other Trump machines that you've got in the machine shop, the one behind us, is that a 5 kilowatt machine? It is, it's a 5 kilowatt fibre, yeah. But it, it gives you the same performance, does it, or maybe not quite as fast? No, it's not quite as fast, and also because it's only a 5 kilowatt, we can't go quite as thick with the materials. And yourself, Lindsay, how long have you been working here? It's not often we get to, to talk to females in machine shops uh, on our videos at MTD, but how long have you been working here and what do you like about this environment? I worked here for 20 years, I didn't start in production but over the years my role's changed and I like the fact that 
all of our customers want everything now and it's fast moving and there's lots of pressure for us to do a good job quickly and, and I just like the you know the, the fast moving environment really. Tom this is a it's like a Trump mini city here at Subcon Laser. How long have you been dealing with Trump and how many machines have you got? We've been dealing with Trump for oh, a lot of years now, probably since 19 late 90s I would say. Uh, we have four uh, flatbed lasers, two axis machines, and we have three uh, three dimensional five axis machines. I've just been talking to Lindsay about the, the new 5030 machine. What's your take on the, the introduction of that machine into, into the company? I think the new uh, the 8 kilowatt fibre 5030 machine is it's a great addition to the company simply because of uh, what it can do. Uh, the investment we have made keeps us uh, at the forefront of the industry. The, uh, we can cut thicker, we can cut faster, there is a lot of options on the machine that isn't currently um, on, for instance, the, the uh, 5040 machine, which is only 18 months old, but the new 8 kilowatts superseded that. So we're staying on top of the game. Let's go and have a look in the second factory where you do a lot of your, what you call it, your five axis area, don't you? Yeah, three dimensional, where we, uh, in here, it's all flat, flat parts that are cut. Where we're going to go now is uh, for the pressing, pressings industry. Let's go and have a look. So Tom, this is equally as impressive as your other factory. We've got laser cells in here. What, what are you, you talk about doing, it's more 3D here, isn't it? It's all three dimensional uh, here, Paul. Uh, we take pressings from all types of industry, predominantly automotive, and they are laser cut on a, on a variety of three dimensional machines. Now, are you running production or are the volumes quite low? It's predominantly made for sort of low to medium volume because people would go to tooling. But here at Subcon, we can handle high volume as well. We have proven that with a project we undertook for a major automotive manufacturer a couple of years ago. And we were doing 5,000 pressings per week for what was supposed to be uh, only a short space of time, and it was with us for two and a half years. Okay, wow. Now this true, this laser cell behind us, the uh, 1005 or 1005 as, as Trump may call it, what sort of uh, depths of cut can you achieve with that? I see the, the guys loading it at the moment, but what are you doing there? The, Thicknesses that these uh, particular machines can handle uh, are different from the two-dimensional side. These really go up to around six mil uh, in thickness, but you don't get many pressings over over six mil. You know, it's it's normally thin gauge material. And, and they're pretty at. quick. It's pretty nimble moving around in there. These are phenomenal. You know, in in terms of the speed, the accuracy, uh, they are uh, they're second to none. How do you do all your programming? All programming and, and all fixturing is actually made here at Subcon. Uh, the guys are, are, are really skilled in, 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 that, uh, in that discipline. And people use Subcon because of, uh, they know we're gonna do it right. It's not, the two dimensional side, if anything, is probably easier than this side. And there is not so much competition in the three dimensional side. And this is where Subcon really comes into its own. And when we look ahead, 2017, 2017, 2018, you're going to face challenges as any business does, regarding, or regardless of economic circumstances. A Trump there to, to support you with those when, when you go forward? Do you look to them as a, as a partner to take your business to the next stage? We found Trump, uh, yeah, they, they have been a great partner with Subcon um, because we're at the sharp end of the industry. Uh, we're talking to the manufacturers, the engineers, what they want, what they want from us. So we relay that back to Trump and we're saying, right, we need to get this quicker, we need to get uh, greater accuracy, we need to cut uh, thicker. Uh, and they've obviously got the laboratories over in Germany, they're working away, uh, beavering away. We're currently working on two projects which with Trump's assistance will dominate the market. 